welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through bank feeds in MYBS Centrals. So first thing you need to know about bank feed rules is when they are to be used. So bank feed rules are designed for automation and time saving. Don't use them for invoices or bills. Use them for common transactions. So things like petrol, um, personal expenses, or recurring amounts that you don't need an invoice cited for. So how do we set them up in essentials? First thing you want to do is go to your unallocated transactions down the bottom right or banking and bank transactions. So when we go in there, we look at our unallocated transactions. So what I'd look for is common transactions, generally expenses that I can knock off with a rule. So looks like in this business, the owner is doing a lot of personal shopping on the business card. So what I'm going to do is set up a rule whenever it says shopping and it's an expense, then it's going to allocate that to the owner drawings. So I don't have to individually code every single one. So what I do is click on the drop down arrow and then create rule. Once you start creating the rule, all you'll need to do is fill in the details from top to bottom, left to right. So the rule name will be shopping, I'll we'll call it personal, and we'll make the rule apply when the description contains shopping. Now I wouldn't put shop or a specific shop, keep it as something that is unique to those personal ones like shopping. The account is owner drawings. And then we save. Great. So now what you'll see is if I type in shopping, they've all been dealt with. So all we need to do is go to our allocated transactions and you'll see that this money has already been allocated for us. So whenever a personal transaction relating to shopping has gone through, it's automatically applied the rule. Now, when a rule has been applied, Essentials will show a wand and it tells you that this has been allocated via a rule. Great, so let's do one more so you can see how this works. So we go to unallocated transactions. Let's find something else. So how about... We'll go with water. So... Water is always going to come through every so often and we want to allocate a rule for it. So we drop down the arrow next to it, create rule. Water bill is a good name and we'll say when the description contains water, we're going to allocate it to that account. Now there's a water expense account in here and we check to see whether there's GST or not, if applicable for your business. Save that. Now what you'll see is that will be allocated. So when I go to all transactions and look up order, I can see it has been applied. Now in this example here, you can see maybe the water filter was not relating to this bill. We didn't want it to pick up filter as well. You can adjust the rule to be more specific. So I'd get rid of it for the water filters firstly. So click the X and then under banking and manage rules, I'm going to edit that water bill rule. So because they're using the word water a lot, we're going to say when it contains water bill. And that way it'll only affect water bill transactions that have that wording and we won't see it applying to water filter. And there you go. That's how you set up bank feed rules in MYB essentials.